welcome to a crusty Chaz original, okay? Shut up, bear. Let me take off my cap so I can show you the sauce that I'm about to spread on these kinks, okay? Now, what we got going on here, guys, is the classic case of I left my braid out and for too long. It's a lot of gnats, it's a lot of problems, okay? It's a lot of problems. Um, I, I'm not going to say we're going to get through it in a breeze, but what I can tell you is you might be surprised at what you see today in this video. So don't click off. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pure, pure dryness. Pure tangles at its finest. All right, Bear, please hand me lay products. What do, you, what do you mean you don't have any money? It, you had one job to just go pick up the products. They're like $5 each for, for the shampoo and conditioner costs like $10. Oh my God, you know what? Just go to my purse, get it out, hurry up. All right, these are the products we're working with today. No thanks to Bear. So I'm getting on here to show you how these two products actually work together. I rarely, rarely, come across a brand that has two shampoos and conditioners that I am absolutely in love with that pair together effortlessly and actually have slip on both ends, on the shampoo end, on the conditioner end, and makes my hair, makes my hair feel worthy, you know? Like, some of these conditioners and shampoos be making my hair feel crispy crackety, okay? be making my hair feel like she a bum and she's not okay it's the product not her and like i was telling bear the average price range for both of these products if you purchase them together is around like ten dollars in stores i have an affiliate link down below so you can go ahead and click that and see what it do so what we got here is this side is already shampooed and detangled because what i want to be showing you guys is how moisturizing this shampoo is and how easy it is to work with so i'm just going to break this side up into two parts and the reason that side is already done yeah that side over there is because some products work a lot better under running water so just in case this shampoo doesn't work very well you know without running water i wanted you guys to be able to see that you know don't just take my word for it i want you guys to be able to see okay but it lathers up like any other shampoo because mind you this is a regular shampoo it's a shampoo that oh crap no my whole setup oh crap sorry it, it kind of fell <laughs> but it is a fortifying shampoo with aloe extract and you know when you a natural chick you just love anything that got some aloe in it okay aloe flaxseed you just you love it because it's so juicy and slippery so for those of you who are finger detanglers, you guys will absolutely love this shampoo because this shampoo, you will have no problem finger detangling. Like if I just want to run my fingers through it, something about this shampoo really gets into the nitty gritty of your hair and just unlocks the, the kinks or unlocks the uh, knots. I don't know what it is. If I was a scientist, if I was really into reading ingredients and figuring out what this shampoo had going on, I definitely would do so because it's got something magical going on. And it's not doing too bad without the running water. So let me go ahead and get my detangle brush. And like I tell you guys with every single thing that I harp about, about how great it detangles, how slippery the conditioner shampoo may be, you will not receive any of those benefits if you don't if you do not have one of these brushes okay you need to have some form of kinky shampoo detangle brush now the reason i'm always harping on this one is because this one is only a dollar to four dollars depending on where you go you could get the tangle teasers they're set up like real brushes if this kind of makes you uncomfortable but they're also like six to fourteen dollars so i don't know how much of a budget you own but you know for this to be the same thing oh let me show you what it looks like too so i always start with my ends and mind you i do not detangle on soaking wet hair or really detangle when i shampoo ever i really only detangle 
while my hair is soaking wet probably once a month once every two months if I feel like I need to really get in there for some reason so yeah mind you this is a large section I'm detangling if you was to break this section up into two sections you'd be done in no time but I really like to make sure my ends are detangled before I start to move up I haven't done my hair on camera in so long. It is such a nuisance. All right, all right. It detangles a lot faster when you're in the shower with some water. But at the same time, it is not doing too bad. It is not embarrassing me on camera like all these other shampoos and conditioners. And just so you guys know, I did open up my shop, chazisawesome.com, where you guys can purchase consultations from me and we can sit down and do FaceTime videos and I basically build you a wash day routine, send you care packages of all the tools that you need to really jump off your natural hair journey. And if you're not into any of that stuff, I do have a master list of shampoos and conditioners that work on type 4 kinky coarse hair they're the ultimate shampoos that have slip and moisturization going for them okay so definitely click the link in my bio to check out that master list the list is actually like it's built like an ebook so it's really colorful it's really pretty and it has a lot of products on there and like 80 to 90 percent of all the products are inexpensive they're the products that like nobody really talks about here on YouTube because on YouTube kind of what natural hair gurus really talk about are I don't want to say sponsored products because yes we do talk about sponsored products a lot but we also talk about the products that are by the main top uh, top natural hair brands like the main choice um, Shea Moisture, like those brands that like, they sell a lot of products for high prices. So on my list is really the no, I don't want to say no name brand, but the smaller brands that get overlooked in the YouTube world because they're not really reaching out to YouTubers like that to be reviewed. The ones that are just kind of underground. So inexpensive underground products, that is what is on the list. And anything that you purchase on my website, it helps me to build more content for you guys because I'm really tired of having these same backdrops. I'm tired of having this same beginner camera. Your girl has never upgraded my her camera. And that's like, as for a filmmaker, that's like really embarrassing. And with this list, you should not have to watch another product review like ever again for shampoos or conditioners. Now, let me show you, just throw on the same page how the conditioner detangles and you guys like I tell you all the time I don't really detangle on the shampoo or conditioner step and that's what I mean by not detangling your hair when it's soaking wet I really just mean you don't have to detangle your hair during the conditioner or shampoo step I've never clarified that because I always forget to when I get on camera but some of you guys detangle while you shampoo then you detangle when you condition then you detangle when you add in your stylers some of you even have another detangle step where you detangle with the actual detangling product before you even get to detangle with the styling products. So all that detangle can detangling can really break off a lot of your hair and it's unnecessary detangling. Like really all you need to do is detangle once in your regimen. Now by the time I actually get to my styling products, my hair is about like 45, 50% dry and that's what I work off of. Okay, and since I'm only detangling using moisturizing slippery products, I don't have any difficulty detangling. And what I mean by that, and just so you know what I'm doing, I'm showing you guys how easily this side detangles because this was the one that I did with running water in the shower, okay? But anyways, if you have moisturizing products, it is not difficult to detangle your type four kinky hair. 
Now, if you have moisturizing and slippery products, like all of your products have slip and you are kinky type for a course, it's a mother flipping breeze, okay? It's a mother flipping breeze to detangle your hair. So, all that detangling and the shampoo, conditioning, um, phase, you don't need all that. Because if you're using the correct products that have slip, you don't need to keep detangling. Your hair is good, okay? You can leave that junk naptified up and then get to your styling routine and then detangle there because all of your styling products have nothing but genuine slip and genuine moisturization. So that should be the only time that you're detangling. And on top of that, you wanna detangle in your styling step because that's the step where you actually need the benefits of detangling. You don't need benefits of detangling when you're shampooing or conditioning, okay? You don't really need your hair to be detangled. It feels a lot better, but it's a lot more work because you're having to shampoo, condition, and detangle and all of that. When you really can just shampoo, condition, hop out the shower, get your styling products, and detangle then, okay? So that's what I really mean by not detangling when your hair is soaking wet. Because this right here, mind you, I still have to go, I'm gonna do two braids for this style. Crap, my, my earring. I have to pay attention to that. But I still have to detangle, um, I still have to style my hair, okay? And I want my braids, because I'm doing two braids, to look very juicy, to look very clean put together. So I'm going to need to run a comb or run uh, this detangling brush through my hair in order to achieve a saucy style. So I really might as well just wait to detangle then. And it always just so happens, which is a great added benefit, that my hair is about 45 to 50% dry then. When your hair is more, more dry than it is soaking wet, it's more stronger, okay? i tell you this. Since y'all never believe me, and I know you see a lot of posts on Instagram and YouTube saying never detangle when wet. Do your own, don't listen to what I'm saying or what somebody else is saying. Do this little test on your own and make what you will of it. Take your take a hair strand from when your hair is dry, okay, when your hair is dry, maybe it's in a brush, whatever. Take that hair st strand, lay it aside. Then get you a hair strand from when you're washing your hair and it's soaking wet with shampoo or conditioner. Take that strand and try and pop it. Then take your other dry strand and try and pop that strand. Now you tell me which one pops faster, okay? I'll wait. You can hit me up in my next video about what happened with your strand test. Now, if you have fine strands, you really need to pay attention to which one snapped first because your hair was going to snap regardless of what you did to it. So you really need to go slow and figure out how fast it pops and then go to your dry strand and then go slow and then really feel the tension and then see how fast it pops for you thicker hair people it's hard for your hair to snap regardless of what y'all do to it so really pay attention to which one feels weaker okay do this test you will see what i mean by your hair is actually stronger when it's a little bit more dry i'm not saying your hair has to be 100 percent dry it just has to be more dry than it is wet because that's when your slippery products come into play and add back in that wet feeling. Therefore, you can actually glide your comb or your brush, whatever, through it, okay? You're not just doing, some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about because you don't actually have moisturizing products. You don't have products that actually have slip. Y'all are using some weird product that like dries your hair out or whatever. So while you're trying to do it, you keep having to add in water. That's not the product for you. That's why you don't understand what I'm talking about. When you have true slippery products that are going onto your kinky type four hair, you will have nothing but slip and you will have no problem doing your hair semi dry. But let me go rinse this out and then we are gonna come back, okay? And mind you, I'm using, I'm using the conditioner next. Now, when you rinse this shampoo out, you will be left with kind of dryish, stripish hair, okay? I'm not even gonna lie to you, you will. It's so moisturizing, yet the aloe is so powerful that when you rinse it out, it just kind of takes everything with it, all right? Which me personally, I really love because on a good wash day routine where you're struggling, you have kinks, you have naps, you have coarseness, dryness, single strand knots, I love how the shampoo unlocks all of your knots, okay? Now, what I absolutely love about this pairing is, watch, Besides the front part that's really soft right now, all of this right here is kind of dry and crunchy. So I'm gonna show you what this conditioner is gonna do. 
Now it is white. It's thick. And it is nothing but a teddy bear pile of softness. Now I know shampoos feel like, or not shampoos, but yeah, conditioners feel really great after you use a shampoo, but this, this is different, okay? This, I don't know, I thought that maybe the conditioner and shampoo were brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? But this pair is a match in heaven they're soulmates okay they're in love like they really are their husband and wife they're twin flames they're everything like this is really ridiculous how i found this mixture or this combination because honestly i found it on an instagram post and they were like yeah you know you guys are sleeping on this aloe shampoo they ain't saying nothing about the conditioner so after it took me a minute to find it when I found the shampoo, it took me like three days and going to different Walmarts. When I saw the conditioner, I was like, you know what? It took me so much to find the shampoo. Let me just pick up the conditioner as well, just in case. And y'all, I have not regretted it, not one time. Because I originally bought the shampoo to be paired with the Organics Tea Tree Conditioner. And you'll see that on one of my videos I'll post up here where I, uh... Did I even use it? I think I didn't even use it. Like, I bought it to be paired with it, but then I didn't even use it. I ended up using the conditioner, and that's when I really fell in love. So let me show you how this detangles, because like I always say, you could have any product that has a bunch of slip in it, a bunch of nourishment, but if you don't have a good detangler, you're not going to get any of those benefits. So let me show you. Now, the hair is already slightly detangled from the shampoo, but what shampoo you know really out here detangling like that, bro? Look at this. I need to cut some of my ends, but dang. The moisture on lock right here. See that? Oh, so good. And mind you, this is low-key a wash day for me. It's a wash day that if I wasn't filming a video, your girl... First of all, I wouldn't even have to detangle the shampoo or anything, because mind you, I'm just doing that for the purpose of this video. But I would have been done. This pair really shaves off like 20 minutes for my entire process. So I know you see that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and twist this side up so you can get a better angle of the back side. But dang! I'm going to show you how the little twist go. This and they they run five dollars. See, this is why, and this is not my only pair that works. This is not my only shampoo and conditioner that I live for. Okay, and if you purchase my little ebook that has my master list of slippery shampoos and conditioners, they all like this. Okay, they all like this. I don't have not one shampoo or conditioner in my bathroom that can't do this okay the only reason i'm showing you guys this one is because i've showed it to you before and i didn't really show you guys how impressed i was with it and since i already introduced this to you i really kind of want to do an in-depth video to show you just how impressed i was but all of the products on that list on chazisawesome.com that i'll link in the um, description box below all of the products that are listed in that ebook do this now the only ones that are actually brother and sister or twin flames i should say husband and wife on that list is the garnier fruitis that's the only one all of the products on this all of the products on that list do this okay this is why I've been able to not have to detangle during my conditioning and shampoo step because all of my shampoos and detanglers do this. They all detangle. They all loosen up the tangles. So I'm not even like that's my right here is my little type um, 3C little portion back there. But that top portion right here is 4C like nothing but slip nothing. You see that? And this is what I mean by having fine strands. Like, I literally do that. But nothing but slip. Beautiful. 
right guys that's pretty much it now just to let you know i will be wearing this style for maybe one or two days then i'm gonna pop on a wig pop out do what it do take the wig off and then refresh because basically that's kind of how i do my weeks i'll use my protective style as a actual style for one or two days then i'll either take my protective style out or if i can segue it into a different protective style i'll do that hence the wig and then i'll take it out wear a fro start my wash day all over again that's pretty much how my week to two weeks go for those of you who wanted to know and check out my little ebook slash pdf of the top shampoos and conditioners for kinky coarse hair because this whole moisture process it starts with your shampoos and your conditioners does it not if you got a good shampoo and you got a good conditioner you might have a good wash day okay so definitely check that out it will be listed in the description box below and i will see you guys in my next video peace out